Hello, dear friends. Hi, I hope you're well. I hope July was very kind to you, and I hope uh, the beginning of August has also been kind. Um, I hope you're staying somewhat cool and hydrated. Um, the Pacific Northwest has been so hot. Um, coming from Texas, like I'm used to heat and I'm used to the humidity. Um, that's the, but I hate it, which is why I moved here. But the thing is, is that Seattle doesn't have air conditioning like anywhere and 90 degrees when you don't have air conditioning is very different from like 98 degrees when you do have air conditioning. So, um, I've been suffering, but I'm okay. Um, but I hope that you are staying cool. Um, but yeah, so this is my August play with me. This is my August spread. Uh, I will let you know right now that this spread is by far probably the simplest spread I've ever done, I want to say. Um, I was just feeling not super inspired. Um, I didn't, I wasn't really inspired to do like a big collage or anything or um, do like a bunch of layering and stuff. I was like, my brain is super muddled, so we're going to keep the spread simple. Um, I basically just used a lot of John Singer Sargent paintings um, because I've been obsessed with him as of late. Um, I said on my Twitter the other day, I want to look how a John Singer Sargent painting makes you feel. So that gives you anything to work off of. Um, and then, uh, oh, if you peep those little wildflower stickers on the left, um, that is something that I'm currently working on. Um, so get a little excited for those. I will definitely keep you updated, but know that that's a thing that I'm trying to do. So yeah, those are exciting. Um, but so remember how in my June plan with me, I talked about how I wanted to like action the things and like stop making excuses and stuff. Um, didn't really get to action any of those things. I think just because my brain was still trying to cope with the fact that I just made a huge move. Um, and uh, two months later, my brain is still trying to cope with the fact that I've made a huge move. Um, I've been feeling very, I've definitely been feeling a little lonely lately. Um, I have, I've made some beautiful friends here in Seattle, but, um, my kind of core network of people are back in Texas and, um, I miss them a lot. So I've just been trying to, um, trying to deal with that. Um, the heat also makes me super lethargic and tired because I just don't want to move or do anything. So I've been trying to work around that and um, I've also, as I do, because this is what I do with all my time, is I just read articles and books on how to better myself without actually bettering myself, which isn't true. I do make an effort to like put into practice the things that I read about. Um, but I've been reading um, Better Than Before by Gretchen Rubin, which is a book about building good habits and because habits kind of make or break your life and so it's about how to learn your tendency as a habit haver and how to work on your foundations and how to use your tendency um which you sort of have by like nature it's just kind of the way that you are um and how to use your tendency in your favor to build um habits that make your life easier and simpler because by building good habits then um you are freed from the responsibility of making choices since habits are just like kind of automatic things and um, in that dismissal from choice, you gain freedom. I'm gonna apologize for um, any air traffic you hear just because um, the Air Force is practicing for a show that they're doing over Lake Washington and it is just air traffic all day and it's making me go crazy, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, so my spread was just kept very simple and easy because I often find that the way my spreads look reflects what I need my brain to look like so clearly I need my brain to sort of like calm down um, which is a which is a, a common state for me because I always find that my brain is doing the most which is very frustrating I've been talking a lot lately how like um, it's like my 
I feel a lot. I feel very deeply and I feel a lot. And so it's kind of like having that capacity and that depth and range of emotion is super handy as an actor and as a creator, but as a human being, it is highly inconvenient. I started crying and I started crying in, in my fitness class the other day because for some reason, push-ups always make me want to cry and I can't tell if it's because like I hold a lot of my tension like in my shoulders or in like my chest area or if it has something to do with like my heart chakra or like if it's just because I hate push-ups and like it's frustrating because they should be simple but for me they're really difficult and I started crying to my fitness instructor and he's like you're okay it's okay he's like I think it's beautiful that you can feel these feelings and I was like I just oh, it's so it, uh, mm. Um, it's fine. I digress. <laughs> uh, so basically, I've just been a bit of a mess, and I'm trying to be less of a mess. Um, but all we're ever trying to do is, um, be better versions of ourselves, right? Because everything is a work in progress, um, and every moment is an opportunity for change and growth and moving forward, um, because that's all we can ever do. And the action is here, and the action is now. Um, and... Whew, I'm okay. I'm, I'm like... I just need to gain a little perspective on things. Um, I also need to stay hydrated, because being, de being dehydrated makes you so tired. So I need to drink more water. Um, but yeah, this is my August spread. Like I said, very, very simple. and everything that I used uh, down in the doobly-doo, but I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, whatever it is, wherever you are. You're a wonder and a dream come true, um, and I love you very much, and I'll see you soon. Stay brilliant. Bye!